Welcome to my YouTube channel. So finally the first update of this year Kali Linux 2023.1 is out. See what's new. So, this is the boot menu, and this wallpaper was in Kali 1.0. This time, Kali 10 year anniversary, and the backgrounds of Kali have design, are a direct reference to previous iconic Kali releases. So let's start. This is the login screen, and here we get a new login background reference of Kali 2.0. So now log in here with your credentials. So this is the Kali Linux default XFCE desktop environment. This is Kali Linux 2023.1, the brand new release for 2023. It's the 10th anniversary release of Kali Linux which brings in new changes and features. Without further let's take a look at what is new in Kali Linux 2023.1. It is available on the official website to be downloaded or upgrade it if you have an existing Kali Linux installed. Before we dive into the new Kali Linux, let's take a quick look at the release note. So if we scroll down this page, it'll tell you what has been changed in the 2023.1 edition, compared to the 2022.4 edition. Kali Linux 2023 brings a fresh new look which makes it easier to recognize the different versions of Kali Linux over time. This update includes a brand new wallpaper with a desktop login manager and the grub menu. In addition, we get brand new purple themes, which are available in light and dark modes. Kali Linux 2023.1 introduces a new variant called Kali Purple. It introduces a brand new tool for defensive security. Kali Purple is starting as a proof of concept, evolving into a framework, and then a brand new platform, just like Kali Blue. The main goal of Kali Purple is to provide an enterprise with great security accessible to everyone. These defensive security tools help to detect security issues in enterprises, such as intrusion detection, systems vulnerability, scanners, packet capture and analysis. Kali Linux 2023.1 brings in a new update to the desktop environments. Kali Purple is available in light and dark modes. You can use it accordingly. All new XFCE desktop wallpapers with a combination of the purple theme provide a stunning user experience. In Kali Linux, three main desktop environments, XFCE, KDE, and Gnome, are the latest versions. The default desktop XFCE 4.18 brings a ton of new features. XFCE is the support for panel profiles with import-export functionality. Now you can modify the desktop panels to your liking and save them somewhere safe. Apart from all the pre-built layouts that the app includes, we have added profiles for default Kali settings, and a new Kali Compact 1, which better fits smaller displays. Now we can quickly open a terminal in the file manager's current folder by just pressing the F4 key. Now all three main Kali desktops behave in a similar manner. Now we get same functionality for Nautilus, GNOME's file manager. Kali now includes the new version 5.27 of KDE Plasma, which brings exciting new improvements to your desktop. 
Now tiling system introduced in KDE. You can tile a window by dragging it while holding down the shift key. To create custom tile layouts, hold down the windows key and then press T. We'll see that we're on 3.11.2, so which is the latest and greatest Python which is nice, the only downside to this is that things break with the new Python. We get the new Kali kernel version, which is 6.1. We get many new tools in Kali. It would not be a Kali release if there were not any new tools added. We get many new tools in the Kali repositories. There have also been numerous package updates and new libraries as well. In the new release, XFCE 4.18 is used, and also the current default desktop environment has been updated and tweaked. So that is it. This is the new update and features in the new release of Kali Linux 2023.1. Let me know what you think about it in the comment section down below. If in case you enjoyed this video feel free to like it. Thank you for watching this video. And make sure to subscribe my channel so you don't miss out on my future videos. Thank you very much, see you in next video.